वेलकम गाइज दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन ऑफ सी एस आई नेट जून टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड इट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ एब्सट्रैक्ट एल्जेब्रा फ्रॉम द पार्ट बी ऑफ द पेपर सो लेट इज फर्स्टली रीड दिस थिंग लेट एस सेवन डिनोट द ग्रुप ऑफ परमोटेशन ऑफ द सेट दिस थिंग विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू सो एस सेवन इज एक्चुअली अ परमोटेशन ग्रुप ऑन सेवन सिंबल्स सो फर्स्ट वन इज सेंग देर इज नो एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर सिक्स इन एस एस सेवन देर आर नो एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर सेवन इन एस सेवन देर आर नो एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर एट इन एस सेवन देर आर नो एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर टेन इन एस सेवन सो दीज आर द फोर ऑप्शन दैट यू हैव टू चेक सो वॉट बेसिकली क्वेश्चन इज रिमाइंडिंग दैट यू हैव टू चेक दैट दिस ऑर्डर एलिमेंट ओके दिस ऑर्डर एलिमेंट विल बिलोंग टू द ग्रुप एस सेवन और नॉट दिस इज वॉट क्वेश्चन इज डिमांडिंग so for this thing what i have i have a theory or you can say a important note that will solve this question in uh, seconds okay but uh, it will be meaningless to just remember that note and solve this question because that will be that will not help you okay much so for what i will do i will firstly give you a hint that from where that note is coming and if you understand that hint properly then you will be uh, you will you can say that it will be a good situation for you okay to handle different type of questions so before that before writing the note just read these two theorems so these two th two theorems are actually the building block okay are actually the building block for that note so these are the two theorems so firstly you see this thing that every permutation sigma in sn can be expressed as product of disjoint cycles so this one is your first note that what it is suggesting you that any any permutation in sn can uh, can be expressed as product of disjoint cycle so what this thing mean actually that if you have sigma a permutation or you can say a element of s7 then what you can do you can actually express this thing as the product of disjoint cycles like this thing where sigma i's are disjoint sigma i's are disjoint and uh, and each sigma i belongs to sn so this is what no your note is suggesting us now uh, there is a very important application of this note okay which is not written here so in the statement the application of this theorem is not written but we can conclude it okay so what theorem is suggesting you that every permutation can be expressed as product of disjoint cycle that means theorem want to tell us that uh, you don't know the you don't know the element that how it looks but what you can know is the structure of the element that uh, what you can know is the structure that any permutation in sn is having this type of structure okay this is what you can know you know you can know the structure that what structure will this uh, this uh, permutation will have okay what i mean to say that let us say let us take n is equal to let us take n is equal to 4 or you can say s4 symmetry group on four symbol so you have a symmetry group on four symbols now how many cycles will you have if you have a symmetry group of four symbols you can have a four length cycle a b c d you can have a three length cycle okay not necessarily a b c any three length cycle okay so i will not write this thing what i will do i will just write four length cycle you can have four length cycle you can have three length cycle you can have two length cycle you can have one length cycle so these are the four cycle that you can have now any permutations in sn can actually be expressed as disjoint as a product of disjoint cycles that means you can actually express each permutation as a product of cycles okay so how many products are possible what i mean to say that the first pos possible product is this one that if you product 4 with min uh, this 3 1 if you product 4 with 2 this is also a possibility okay if you product 4 with 1 this is also a possibility now what i will do i will uh, this is also a possibility this thing is also a possibility okay so these are the possible ways now what you see here what the important thing that you see that if you product 4 into 3 okay so 4 length cycle into 3 length cycle 
now how many symbols do you have you have only four symbols how many symbols do you have you have only four symbols that means you have used four symbol already here okay you have only four symbol you have used four symbols here now how many are symbols are left to be unused okay how many symbols are left so which are unused so there is no symbol which is unused every symbol you have used now that means the symbols you have used here is identical to these symbols so this type of cycle is not disjoint you are getting my point this type of cycle is actually not disjoint you have used four symbols here and you have to use two more symbols so you cannot make these two cycle actually disjoint so this one is not disjoint you have used four size symbols here and the in the in the cycles of length one okay length there is no cycle of length one actually you 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 write it as actually as nothing okay that means in order to uh, write a cycle of length one you do, you don't need any symbol so you have written four symbols already here now how many symbols are you left with zero symbols and how many symbols are needed to write this one length cycle zero symbols that means this is possible this is possible disjoint cycle okay disjoint way so this type of product is actually possible okay from theorem what you are getting you can product them as saiga you can product uh, you can express every element as product so these possible these products are not uh, actually possible because they are not disjoint what you have to find you have to find disjoint one so this one is what you are getting disjoint one now you see you have used three symbols here and two symbols here how many symbols have you used five symbol that means you have only four symbols so you cannot make disjoint so this one is also not a disjoint product you have used three symbols here and you have used no symbols here so this product can actually be disjoint you are getting my point this product can actually be disjoint and another thing that you can do is you can product this thing okay so if you interchange these two things okay you you write one first and then three later that will have no effect you are getting my point that will have no effect that's why commit yeah, there is no need to commute these things here okay uh, uh, that will have no effect so these are the only three possible ways okay okay sorry i missed one there can be possibility of two and two because okay because this one will also be disjoint how many symbols they uh, are there to uh, uh, how many symbols are required in order to uh, write product of two cycles okay in using two symbols so th they, uh, we require only four symbols and we have four symbols so we can make this thing disjoint so except these products whatever product you choose okay okay you choose 4 4 and whatever else product you choose you you just multiply 4 with 3 with 2 but th th those product will not be disjoint you are getting my point except these products you we will not get a disjoint product okay so from this theorem what you are getting that any permutation which is there in s4 can always be expressed like this or this or this or this you are getting my point now see the note number 2 here what note number 2 is suggesting you it is suggesting you that let sigma belongs to sn is expressed as product of disjoint cycles then sigma uh, let us say this one is your uh, product of disjoint cycle then order of sigma is given by lcm of order of sigma 1 order of sigma 2 up to order of sigma n you are getting my point so what will be the order of this type of product you are getting my point so if you have a permutation in s4 and you you can express uh, that permutation like this <coughs> so what will be the order order of that sigma will be lcm of 4 and 1 okay order of sigma 1 because you know if you have a cycle of length n okay if you have a cycle of length n then the order of that cycle is actually n so uh, order of a n length cycle is n so four length cycle order of four length cycle will be four so the four here and one here what will be the order of this type of sigma the order of this type of sigma is 2 comma 3 comma 1 it will be 2 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 so these are the four possible products that you can have okay so now relate this thing okay now relate this thing with the partition so you have four symbols and you want to partition them 
so if you if you want to partition them what you can do you can write 4 as 4 itself completely 4 or you can write the, it as 1 plus 3 or you can write it as 1 plus 1 plus 2 or you can write it as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 or you can write it as uh, what you can do you can write it as 2 plus 2 okay so th there is a product missing here I forget to write this thing but you you miss this product 1 1 okay okay this product how many times you, you can do this thing the product of 1 and 1 because product of one length cycle one length cycle will require no symbol so that one is also there that one is also there so by using the method of partition what you can do you can actually know that how many disjoint product you will have just compare this thing with this one so if you are writing 4 completely as 4 that means what you are getting you are getting this type of product because while you write one length cycle you don't mention it okay you cannot write one length cycle you don't mention it so this thing is similar to this thing now 1 plus 3 means this one okay now 2 plus 1 plus 1 means this one if you write 1 here again that will have no effect 1 plus 1 plus 1 will be from this option okay this one option that I write I write your permutation as like this because it is also a possible way because you don't need any symbols here so you can make this thing disjoint the last one is corresponding to this disjoint cycle so from note 1 what you are getting that any permutation in any permutation sigma that you have belonging to your symmetry group Sn will always be expressed as the partition. Okay, partition like this. Okay, partition means you can always express them as product of disjoint cycle, and that possible product can actually be obtained from the partition of that thing. So, how many possible order you will have now? You will have a four order element. You will have LCM of one comma three okay you will have lcm of 1 comma 3 you will have lcm of 1 1 2 you will have lcm of 1 1 1 you have lcm of 2 2 2 so now the time uh, now you have understood it properly so now th this is the time to uh, to actually put forward that note before you now this is the note what this note says that possible order of element in a symmetric group sn depends upon the possible LCM of the partition of N. You are getting my point. So this one is your note that uh, the, your num uh, the order of the element in SN is actually dependent on the LCM of the partitions. So from uh, okay, from this note, what you can do, you can actually solve this question. Now come back for the question. I will write, uh, I will put this note here. Now come back for the question what your question is saying now it's this question is very easy okay it will take less than a one minute if you understand this note properly so what it is saying that you will have a order six element now firstly see okay what two number you will choose in order to get lcm six so you will choose three two okay three two the lcm of three two is actually six or you can choose okay six one now you see if you write seven you can partition 7 into 6 plus 1 so this one is a partition there so 6 plus 1 is a, if 6 plus 1 is a partition that means lcm of 6 comma 1 okay will be there will be a element in sn whose order is lcm of 6 plus 1 this is the theory what we are getting okay now from this thing your first option is false because you have an element of order 6 plus 1 there so this one is false second one is saying that okay second what second one is saying second one is saying that there is no element of order 7 but you see you can actually write 7 as 7 itself this will also be a partition so there will be because it's a complete cycle of length 7 so there will be an element of order 7 in that thing so second is false now uh, fourth one is saying uh, third one is saying there are no element of order 8 in S7 so you have to check the number of element of order 8 so you firstly see what number you have to choose in order to get LCM 8 so you have to choose 8 comma 1 in order to get LCM 8 there is no other possible way so so you can you write 7 as 8 plus 1 
this is not possible because you cannot write 7 as 8 plus 1 so 8 plus 1 is not actually a partition so therefore it will uh, therefore the uh, order 8 element will not exist in s7 so this one is correct now last one is saying about order 10 element fourth one so about order 10 element you see 7 7 is your number and you have to uh, okay firstly see this thing that what number you have to choose in order to get lcm 10 so you have to choose 2 plus 5 that means you can get two disjoint cycles what what are those two, two disjoint cycle you can just partition 7 into 5 plus 2 so these are the two possible disjoint cycle whose product will be there so this one is possible okay because 5 plus 2 is actually a partition of 7 so fourth is also false there are no element of 10 in a 7 is also a false option you are getting my point so this is a very easy question now from this note because what it is saying that possible order of element in symmetric group s7 sn sorry depends upon the possible lcm of the partition of n so thank you guys